hello students after i have finished with the part 1 i have also taken up its question answers round so here i will begin with the part 2 of this chapter whose basic main contents are states of matter and diffusion right this i have already explained in the last slide of my previous video which included the question answers video so there i have discussed that i will be discussing two main parts in my part 2 first is the states of matter and the second one is diffusion so first i will take states of matter in detail which is divided into three parts the first video will be that is video number 5 of part 2 please uh, ignore this it will be part 2 this is part 2 so uh, just let it be right so this is part 2 video number 5 and it will includes the states of matter states of matter will have been divided into three videos the one, first one will be including solids second one will have liquids and gas in combination and third one will be sum up of all the three states so starting on with the solids now as we have studied that the fourth characteristic of particle of matter is force of attraction between the particles right that how are the particles have having a force of attraction between them how are they attracted so this is the fourth characteristic of the particles which we had already studied now we also learned that this fourth property had three types of attraction there was strongest force of attraction in solids there was slightly loose force of attraction in liquids and it was very loose force of attraction in gases now based on this property only we have divided the states of matter into three types solids liquids and gas though you have already studied this in your junior classes still i had pick up picked it up with uh, from the scratch right so now i hope you have understood the one which have the strongest force of attraction between them like these are the two particles the one which are very strongly bonded are solids the one which have little space between them are liquids and the one which are very farly placed are gases so this is how the solids liquids and gases are characterized now moving on to the next part where we will discuss and start with solids now under solids we will be first discussing the properties of solids like what all properties to solids have the first property which solid exhibits is a fixed shape that means its shape doesn't change let's take an example of any solid and understand these properties with the help of that example take any solid uh, rather any uh, which you uh, which, whichever you want to as you are in students of a school you can take your class desk right it has a fixed shape it does not change every day every day when you come in the class and sit you have the same desk which is same shaped right it does not change secondly it has fixed volume obviously if it is occupying one block it will occupy one block only the next day it won't start and shift and occupying two blocks until unless you drag the bench from one place to another right itself it remains there only and it has a fixed shape and volume third properties cannot be compressed now what is compression what is compressibility you might have all seen that ball which comes nowadays in the market that which has a big smiley on it you press it no you keep on pressing it and playing with it or you can take another example of the boxing punch you keep on punching it it the, that goes in regains back goes in regains back right elastic how what is elastic which we have in our uh, pajamas or any any other cloth we stretch it it gets back to the normal position again that is compression when you compress it right when you press it it will go down and when you leave it it will come back that is what is compression or compression is ideally you can say um, for example if you have filled anything in a particular box so you just keep on pressing it down and down it compresses though larger in volume but if you keep pressing it adjusts in the smaller space as well so the one with adjusts in the smaller spaces as well being larger in volume are having good compressibility in simple terms jo dabaya ja sake jisse choti si choti jagah mein adjust kiya ja sake wo compressibility hai now you tell me are your class desks compressible no when you place books on it do the books go down no they place play on it as it is right so solids cannot be compressed thirdly they are heavy in weight 
obviously you compare solids and liquids a box is heavy you cannot pick it up like with uh, very easily very conveniently but can you hold water in your hand yeah exactly you can hold water in your hand so it is not heavy right so this is about their heaviness and density heavy in weight means having high density do not fill the container completely now what do you mean by this do not fill the container completely this means as the particles having arrangement of solids like for example we have a particle arranged we have particles arranged very tightly in solids so they will occupy that very place only in the container as much as they have by themselves they will not spread here and there and will not fill the container completely for example if you take a box and keep a heavy thing inside it in the center so it will remain in the center only it will not get spreaded in the whole box whereas if you fill any box with water if you keep that water in the center will it stay there only or will it start flowing here and there it will start flowing and will fill the all container sidely right so this property is absent in solids also solids do not flow this is very obvious you cannot see your class desks flowing here and there right so this is how the basic properties of solids can be understood and according to these particles of matter we already know that the particles of matter in solids are very tightly packed they don't have any space between them just because they don't have any space between them so the force of attraction between them is very very strong which keeps holding the particle at their position that means do jo particle hain wo itne strongly bonded hain ek dusre se that you cannot separate them thus they do not have any space between them isliye unke beech mein koi jagah hi nahi hai okay so two particles and force in between two particles is called as interparticle force do particle ke beech ka force ko hum kehte hain interparticle force which is the strongest and maximum in solids right moving on to the next part next topic is now we will take three instances i will make you quote three important instances of solid where you will understand that challenges to the properties of solids in all these three questions right these are very important from the examination point of view also so please understand them carefully now rubber band if you see rubber band being a solid is elastic in nature and can change its shape why we have just learned about compressibility that things can be compressed and stretched easily right but solids do not have that property okay but rubber band despite being a solid the rubber band which you have the which you have at your homes which girls wear in their hairs though being a solid why is it elastic why does it change its shape and we have studied that the property of solids is that they do not change their shape so why is it happening with the rubber band please remember that while i will explain while i was explaining the property i also mentioned that these properties are till then if you don't interfere in them for example if i that class desk on your only on your table uh, in your school which i was giving you an example of if i only start being a carpenter to it and i break the table into two and give it a round shape and earlier it was square in shape now i have cut it properly and give it given it a round shape now has the shape of this desk change yes the shape of the desk has changed from square to the round just why has that shape change because i made it change so anything which we are applying force to change it that is not a part of the property property means one the one which it has originally jo wo apne aap se kar raha hai wo uski property hai jo hum uske upar force laga rahe hain uski wajah se uska kuch bhi change ho raha hai that will not come under the property right so this is how with the case with rubber band rubber band ko hum khud stretch karte hain lekin stretch karne ke baad jab hum usko chhod dete hain wo wapas apni usi position pe aa jata hai it regains its own position back when we stopped stretching it so that is how a rubber band is a rubber band is solid but when force is applied on to it to stretch it will 
इट लेंदन्स वो बड़ा हो जाता है बट सून आफ्टर द फोर्स इज रिमूव एज सून एज हम उस फोर्स को हटाते हैं वो रबर बैंड इट रिगेन्स इट्स ओरिजिनल शेप एंड दैट इज वाई इट इज कंसिडर्ड एज अ सॉलिड I hope this is clear. Now this question, if it comes in your examination, you can write this answer as well to this question. Okay. Moving on to the next part. Similarly, there's a second instance. Salt and sugar crystals, when placed in two different jars of different shapes, it is seen that they take the shape of the container. But then, why are they still called as solids? Now they are saying. that you have taken two beakers in both the beakers you have filled sugar and salt of equal quantity see i have drawn two diagrams here also it is 50 g here also it is 50 g so 50 g sugar 50 g salt i have taken you take any you do okay any crystals now this beaker is square shape this beaker is round shape what will you see that the crystals placed in this beaker will acquire a same shape as that of beaker while the crystal placed here they will be seen as round shaped now why so we to always studied that properties of solid is that they do not change any shape and they have fixed volume the why it is happening here this is because both the beakers despite different shapes but what are we studying are we studying the property of beaker or are we studying the property of sugar and salt crystals we are studying the property of sugar and salt crystals are uh, have the shape of crystals also been changed have the uh, crystal shape of salt uh, or sugar from round has it changed to triangle no the shape of the sugar crystals are still same so that is we say that these crystals will remain this shaped only right they are not changing their shape it's just that we have placed them in the container so they have occupied the space present in it but has the original property of sugar crystals changed no the crystal is still round in shape and it is still having the same volume so this is how the property of salt and sugar crystals can be explained okay so if this question also comes in the examination you can give the this same answer which is given here this is the answer to this you can give it here with the both diagrams and can explain it well moving ahead last point the solid sponge being a solid can be compressed easily why now what is which is the sponge you might have seen you might use it in your kitchen you might use it in your bathroom or anywhere and that yeah i was given example there that of ball which has a smiley drawn on it that is also like a sponge only fine so why can they be compressed though they are solid that ball is also a solid right but why is it happening that we are able to push it in and out while properties of solid are they cannot be compressed they cannot be pushed in and out but what is here is look this is the diagram of a sponge whenever you see a sponge you will see that there are small small pores in between that sponge chote 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 spaces hoti hain sponge ke beech mein so that spaces in the sponge do not have solid content they are empty they are gaseous they have air filled in them so that air being a gas shows the property of gas and property of gas is that it shows maximum compressibility that is why sponge being a solid can be compressed easily <laughs> it is not due to its solid nature but that compressibility is due to the air trapped inside those small pores which are present in the sponge it is not necessary na that every material is just made up of one type of matter only there are some things like which are solid from outside but liquid from inside or solid from outside but gaseous from between and same is an example here you can take the example of that ball or a sponge that is solid when you see it from outside but internally it has small small pores where there is no solid rather it has air gas filled in it and the property of gas is that it compresses so thus it shows the property of compression right so do you have any doubt in this you can please ask me again this is how where i have covered your solids in the next video i will be completing liquids and gases after summing up liquids and gases i will take all the three together with the help of diagram to explain and clear some another important facts thank you very much